You can try your Apple pen. Yeah, yeah. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Well, I could have everyone please rise to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. The United States of America, America. 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 Uh, Monday, May 16th, 2022, New Britain Township Board of Supervisors Business Meeting. Uh, I have chair comments. Uh, the first comment is that the board met in executive session on Thursday, May 5th uh, to discuss personnel. The board also met this evening in executive session to discuss personnel and litigation. Um, those are my only two comments for this evening. Is there any public comment? There's no other public comment. Well, we have public in the back. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. So the next item on the agenda is a presentation in regards to free little library at Veterans Park. So, Matt. Yep. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, tonight we have uh, Cassandra or Kocha. Oh, see the two C. All right, Kocha. Um, if you remember, we canceled the work session meeting two weeks ago where this presentation would have been before the board. So this tonight is a combined work session, uh, regular meeting, and uh, Ms. Kosha is here tonight, uh, Koka is here tonight to present to you a possible idea of installing a free little library at Veterans Park. So information was forwarded to, to the board uh, as long, uh, along with a memo from the Parks and Rec Coordinator Shell. Um, the Veterans Committee has seen this, the Parks and Rec Committee has seen this, and they are all in support. So I want to come on up and give us, give us a little background. Um, my name is Cassie Koka. I have been living in Chalfont for the last 20 or so years with my family. Um, we have lived closer to this area of Chalfon, um for many years and have enjoyed time at this park, whether it was baseball, softball, um, walks, bike rides, whatever it is. Um, and now we've moved closer to Veterans Park. Um, and again, we enjoy bike rides and walks and the, taking our pets there. Um, but one thing that we have found is that over throughout COVID and, um, you know, even before that, um, we would go down there and see lots of families playing at the playground or walking around. And um, while we would sit there, we would enjoy sitting and listening to music or reading. And we always had to bring our own books. And especially during COVID, when we couldn't get to the library as often, um, that was one thing that we thought, wow, this park could really use a place for it. the families, the folks who walk there, visit there, um, to get some new books and um, meet as a community. And so uh, we thought that it might be a good idea to introduce a free little library where um, families could come and get books out and enjoy um, reading together, either sitting there, taking the books home, um, and enjoying them at home. Um, I'm also a teacher in the district, and so very much value the ability to get books in the kids' hands. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your uh, volunteering to do this for the township. I also agree. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everybody done before I get Cynthia? <laughs> no, that's fine. I was trying to find my memo from with the picture, but I, I can't find it real clear. Sure. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I just wanted to say she did a wonderful presentation at Park and Rec. Um, everybody was very supportive of this idea. I think it's a wonderful idea to add to 
add another one since we already have one at Highlands Park. I think it's a wonderful idea to add one over in Veterans Park. So thank you so much. That's great. Uh, we have a motion on the agenda later in the meeting to approve the installation. Great. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much. All right. So then I'm going to now move on to our action items. We have we have no we know anything. A motion to approve all motions this evening. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> 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 I know it's still being recorded. Anyway, at this time, I'll be taking motions to approve uh, the action items on the agenda. So the first one I'm looking for is a motion to approve the meeting minutes of the April 18th, 2022 business meeting. Second. second. Uh, I have a first and a second. Are there any amendments or changes to the minutes? Since none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Hi. 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 Motion Long. carried. Cynthia raised her hand. She's voting. Or is that you voting, Cynthia? How about we just assume she's a yay yes. unless she yay. says nay? I was trying not to do a voice. I thought if I raised my hand, it would be the thing. So. Did you hear what Greg said, Cynthia? If you're going to consider you a yes unless you chime in and say no. For the action items, okay? Are you all right with that? Yep. Okay. Yes. Right. I'm waiting to see if she says anything else because I don't know what could the lag is. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, at this time, I'm now looking for a motion to approve, approve the schedule bill stated April 22nd, 2022, April 22nd, 2022 medical reimbursements, April 29th, 2022, May 5th, 2022, and May 5th, 2022 medical reimbursements in the amount of $434,924.56 and to authorize the township manager, manager to pay all bills per the attachment. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Are there any comments or questions regarding the bills list? So seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carried. You should ask for a pose to see that we're going to do that for Cynthia. Huh? You should ask for a pose just to confirm for Cynthia if yeah. you're going to take oh, her yeah. silence. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> she's going to say no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. All right. It's really Man, there's the minutes because your your four votes carry it. But if you're yeah. Right. Gotcha. All right. Uh, this time I'll now be looking for a motion to approve the consent agenda dated May 16th, 2022, per the attachments. So moved. Is there a second? Second. So any comments or questions regarding the consent agenda? All right. All those in favor, please signify saying aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? Sensing none, motion carried. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Uh, this time I will now be looking for a motion for the board to authorize the township engineer and staff to obtain bids for the demolition of the farmhouse and garage at the Coleman property located at 1606 Upper State Road per the attachment. I will luckily make that motion. Is there a second? Second. And I have a first and a second. Now, are there any comments or questions regarding this motion? I have a uh, comment. Right. So, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to suggest that the board entertain a motion to table this motion for tonight as uh, Public Works Superintendent and I have been talking about things. What our existing proposals did not do was itemize the farmhouse from the apartment. And we were, we've asked each of the four who have submitted proposals to submit updated proposals so we can see itemized demolition costs. I don't know what the demolition costs will be. And if we itemize them, they might be below the threshold requiring a bid, which would then give the board another option of whether or not to move forward with both or just one. If the board is interested in still moving forward with the demolition of both structures, then yes, I would encourage you to take action on this. And that since, since, this, since the bids exceed the $21,300 threshold, we have to publicly bid it. So this is authorizing me to work with the township engineer and solicitor to uh, build that bid process. We're not 
We're not voting on accepting the bids. This is just to authorize us to create that bid process. So my comment was, is that I would like to amend the motion that the, and it's funny, we didn't even talk, but that the, uh, um, the uh, bid be crafted in a way that it breaks down separate demolition of house from apartment and two garage structure, and that it's itemized so that we can a la carte it as it were, if we need to. That is underway. And we unfortunately were not able to get that turned around in time for tonight's meeting. But I don't, pursuant to your comments, I don't necessarily think we need to table it. I don't think we need to stop the process. I think if we amend it and let the process continue to move forward, you have the authorization. It doesn't mean you need to use it. Fair enough. So I'm good with that. May I make a comment? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm absolutely uh, in accord that the farmhouse has to come down. I am somewhat reluctant to have the apartment and garage because the lower level of that building is perfectly fine. Um, I hate to see waste and I would like perhaps manager and public works to take a look at that building to see if it couldn't be repurposed for something the township could do. Agreed. Hence the allocarding. And it was my thought process as well. <laughs> I didn't know why you wanted to allocate it. So yeah, yes. yeah, I did. Yeah. As Especially with our discussions that we've been having about reallocating storage of things and and just re, re envisioning where we do our business and how to do it, and it, it, it could come in as a benefit at this point. Okay, so then I would, uh, how do I proceed then? We already have a motion, a second. second. So, I, I, I would like to amend the motion to, um, to further. Add. So, I don't think you have to do that because it's already underway. I've already instructed Ryan to move forward with getting an itemized proposals from all four. I don't see a need for you to take an action on that, take a motion on that. I think if you pass this one, it authorizes us to develop that bid if they don't come in. And you've got direction as how right. to develop yes. the bid with right. the two if, separate. If, so. if the staff has already asked for the bid to be constructed in that manner, you don't need a motion. You don't need to a friendly amendment to the motion. The motion that you've made should be <laughs> Okay, very good then. So we have a first and a second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Wait, is she going to say aye or am she I asking say opposed? Aye. Aye. I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> Motion a, carried. So I'll have an updated, um, I should say, I'm planning on having an updated proposal and discussion at the next work session meeting. Very good. Thank you, Matt. All right, so then at this time, I will be looking for a motion uh, for the board to approve temporarily closing portions of state roads along the route of the annual tri municipal July 4th parade for the duration of the event and to authorize the township manager to submit any required documents and or applications to pen dot per the attachments. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Are there any comments or questions regarding this motion? So this is a, um, a housekeeping item that PennDOT requires the municipality to send a letter of request um, since each of the roads that the parade is on are state roads. And so we have to ask permission from the state. Um, years past, it used to be the uh, board chair writing a letter. All I need is authorization from the board and I will write that letter on, on the board's behalf. Very good, thank you. So I have a first and a second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, she's going to say I'm not going to ask for a post. Do I still ask for a post? No, no. okay. Yeah. Motion carried. <laughs> Unless you guys added a board member, I'm not aware of it. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. All right. The next motion I'm looking for is a motion to approve the settlement of Mortimer versus New Britain Township Zoning Hearing Board for the attachments. Sean? I'm going to kick it over to uh, the Township Solicitor. So, we, thank you, uh, Mr. West. It, it included in your packet, and it would be in the board packet starting at page number 63. Well, the motion is at page 62. Page number 63 of the PDF in the board packet uh, is the agreement, uh, the settlement agreement with Mr. Mortimer. The short version, you, you've had a chance to read that, but the short version is it limits the subdivision to two lots, no further subdivision. Uh, he must comply in all aspects with the saldo ordinance and the zoning ordinance. 
and it, it agrees to resolve the litigation once and for all for the reasons that have been previously discussed in executive session, including the potential challenges to uh, New Britain Township zoning ordinance uh, provisions. There is, uh, it's been vetted by and, and, and has met with the approval of the Township Engineer and the Township Solicitor, and we would seek the, your affirmation and your approval for the staff to execute the same. And there is also included in that is a provision for, I believe it's $5,000 in administrative and, and attorney's fees to be paid by Mr. Mortimer. That uh, payment will be uh, due to the township within 10 days of the approval of this settlement by a judge of the Court of Common Pleas. So once it is executed, assuming it's executed tonight, we then submit it to the court for an order uh, dismissing this matter. And within 10 days of that ratification by the court, we would be due $5,000 from Mr. Mortimer for, for the lead attorney fees. Oh, very good. Are there, uh... wait, did I get a motion? I didn't ask for the motion first. Did I get a first and a second? No, you no, didn't. No. I did not, yeah, I, I forgot to ask. <laughs> Is there a first and a second? I'll make that motion. I'll second. All right, then I should have turned it over to you with my apologies. I would ask to incorporate my previous comments <laughs> as, as the discussion of this motion, or at least the uh, professional advice on this motion, if the board has any comments or any questions for me. Very good, okay. thank you. Trying, we're trying to, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's a living, breathing thing. I'm sorry. It's organic. It's organic. Are there any other comments or questions regarding this matter? I have a first and second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Is that an aye? Okay. Yes. Okay. Motion carried. All right. I'm now looking for a motion for the board to approve the recommendation of the color green, brown, beige for fence and pump house, pump house to be constructed, owned, and maintained by the Chowbrit Sewer Authority at Veterans Park for the attachments. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. So I can't wait to hear the thinking behind this one. So the executive director of the Sewer Authority uh, notified me who said that at some previous board meeting, someone made a suggestion that they wanted to change the color. I couldn't remember anything. I don't remember saying that. I don't remember. <laughs> there may have been a question as to what colors would be suitable, maybe. So the easiest thing would be to just defer to their default colors, which is green. Green is fine. Okay. Agreed. Thank you. Yes, can we stay away from the sewer colors? <laughs> 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 yes. So I would recommend green. I'll make a motion to approve the color green for the fence and pump house. <laughs> we have an amended motion. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> All right, I have a first and a second. Are there any comments or questions regarding the amendment? Cynthia? None. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Next motion that I'm looking for from the board is for the board to approve the installation of the Free Little Library at Veterans Park as presented by Cassandra Coca and per the attachments. I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. All right. Is there any comments or questions? I see none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. All right, the next motion I'm looking for is for the board to approve the hiring of Brian Williams to the Public Works Department as a laborer, operator, truck driver, effective May 16th, 2022. Make a motion to Brian Williams. Is there a second? Second. All right. Just uh, want to say welcome to uh, Brian Williams. He was here bright and early this morning and uh, really looking forward to being a part of the uh, New Britain Township Public Works crew. Very good. good. All right, I have a first and a second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. And last but not least, I will be looking for a motion from the board to approve the agreement of sale for a conservation easement on the Gilmore property, tax amount parcel 26410, located at the corner of King Road and Keller Road, per the attachments. I make like that motion. Second. All right, I have a first and a second. Matthew? Uh, this has been a long time coming. Um, this is a track up in the northern section of the township. <clears throat> that is a beautiful uh, spot of land. Uh, the current owners were interested in um, preserving that uh, for generations to come. And so this was um, a, a lot of work staff-wise, <clears throat> excuse me, staff, engineer, 
uh, solicitor to make this happen. Um, really appreciate everybody's help on this, and this will set the, the, the ball rolling. This is the first step. Um, now we will turn it over to the engineer and they will go out and survey and start the actual land planning part of it and the subdivision part of it. If you remember from subsequent conversations, we are uh, we can only do one subdivision per year. And so we're hoping to get that done this year. If not, we're going to have to wait an entire an additional year to start it again. And we are subdividing it into two with three lots. Um, two smaller and one large, and on the large lot will have the conservation easement. That's all we got. All right, very good. And I'll, right, uh, Craig had anything? The only thing I'll add is, and I guess we can handle it separately, is um, in the past, and I'm just kind of surprised and showing and Matt here, um, you waive the applicant. We will process everything on behalf of the applicant, the subdivision application. I'll walk it through planning commission and come see you. I will present that myself. Um, however, there's fees associated. I would assume you're going to waive all application fees. Um, you can do that later on, however you want to handle that. But um, this property survey should be done pretty quickly. And then um, I'll get that right to planning commission. Ryan and Janine can help me with that. I attend planning commission, so I'll describe that's part of land preservation. They don't need to be there. I don't know if they ask me like that, but um and then we'll just do preliminary final at planning commission and come once to you and then you, if there's anything else to do at that time um staff will handle that and we'll do it all in one meeting hopefully by the end of the summer i don't think we'll have a problem do they have to do that do they have to do the subdivision actually three times twice we'll do one we'll record it here in the fall and then we'll do another one in january february and record that one Okay, that's right. Yeah. They mentioned one of the meetings, um, Sean was out there, Matt and I were there, that depending on what they get for the first lot, for the lots, they may not come back again. They mm -hmm. depends on, they're not looking to, it was kind of nice. They said they would um, see how the first two, two sales go and then come back and, and, you know. The two lots that are being carved out are slightly under two acres each. So they're a decent sized bars. And they're both, both with a lot of road frontage. So they, they might be very, Easily transmittable properties that they might garner a decent amount for. So we'll wait then. At yeah, I'll give you an up, I'll give you an update when the survey is done. I'll give you an update every. It'll be an engineer's report too. So well, I mean, in regards can, to waiving fees. Well, yeah, we have that. Okay. We can do that later. Okay. Because administratively, I think that's what we all understood. Was gonna, yeah, they can, before you said you'll pay for everything. Right. So that's that. Okay. All right, so we have a motion uh, first and a second. Any comments or questions from the board? All right, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carried. That is uh, all this evening for our action items. I was gonna say there should be a document for me to sign somewhere. Thank you. So the next item on our agenda this evening is the information items, Township Manager's Report. I don't have a formal report this evening. I've been uh, working on Developing the grand plan for plan forward for uh, operations. Thank you. Very good. Uh, departmental reports. Departmental reports have been uh, submitted and are attached to the meeting packet. I don't know if you had anybody had any questions about any of the reports. No, I didn't. Good evening, Chief. Good evening. He doesn't have anything particular he wants. He always has something. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chairman, I do have a, a couple comments. One, one is uh, National Night Out will be August 2nd. Uh, we've been invited to attend uh, Doyle's Towns Townships uh, National Night Out. Um, but before I commit to that, I want to just get the feedback from the board if they are okay with that. This will give us the opportunity to at least participate in some way without having to plan our own national night out, which we may have to take additional resources that are not quite comfortable with. When you say we, are you talking about yourself or other members of the force? So as far as attending, it mm -hmm. would be, yes, probably myself and maybe two other members of the police department along with the you know, police vehicle. Didn't take any bike over there or something like that. 
Did I see the new bike out recently within the last month or so? It was out uh, probably about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He still won't let me ride it. I don't blame him. <laughs> I think you need training. We're training. We're going to put a light bar in a skid steer. You can drive that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no comments about that. The only additional comment I have is uh, we intend to, at the next uh, Board of Supervisors meeting, have some type of recommendation for promotion. Good. All right, very good. All right. Is there any uh, comments or questions for the Chief? No. No? All right. Is there any other comments or questions regarding any other departments in the, uh, in the township? <laughs> have they used the new skits here yet? I believe they're still all training. Uh, yep. Gotcha. I told them not to get it dirt. <laughs> <laughs> They've just been doing donuts in the, in the public works garage. Gotcha. That's a quick way to ruin the tires. Anyway, yeah. I'd, I'd be doing it too. So solicitor's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, you're in, in possession of my more comprehensive written solicitor's report, which was submitted uh, and circulated to the board members on Friday. Uh, by way of an oral report, I would just point out that I have received the first batch of uh, hard or written files from the previous solicitor, Grimby and Thatcher, uh, last week. I am in the process of going through those. As you know, our arrangement with them is going to be that they're eventually going to transfer all of New Britain's files uh, to us for review, uh, at which time, once we've had a chance to go through them, we're going to sit down with each of them, with township staff, and find out what can be archived versus what, versus what is actually needed to be kept live either here in your building or, or at Bank of the Crown and Mandio. Uh, the township manager and the chief have reached out to me about updating the towing ordinance in the, the township. Uh, we're currently researching different options uh, or different versions of that and what we want to incorporate there. Uh, I will be getting to work shortly on a draft uh, update or a, frankly a redo of the, of the township's towing ordinance. Uh, once it's been reviewed and vetted by the chief and by the manager, we'll submit it to the board for review and, and, and additional thoughts before it's actually advertised for approval. Very good. Is there any uh, comments or questions regarding the solicitor's report? No. Cynthia? No. None. All right. Oop. I have the solicitor's report open. Let me go back. All right. Uh, engineer's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you have our May engineer's report. We submitted at the beginning of the month. A uh, couple uh, edits or uh, updates uh, to the report. Um, as of about four o'clock today, I got an update on Walter for the Culver. Not tell us this yet because I didn't approve it. Um, but uh, our structural engineer did uh, uh, make some changes and recommendations to a uh, public works plan uh, for Walter for repairs. Um, it was kind of wait to see what the velocities were with the hydraulic study, but. Matt reminded my staff, and I reminded them anyway, that they can't wait for the hydraulic study that's coming later as you approve that. So uh, that's been marked up today. I'll look glance at that tomorrow and sign off the <coughs> changes. Uh, there's no, just perfect, there's no formal plan. We are working, you know, we had old plans, so we're marking them up. Brian's ready to go. I had Janine speak with him today, uh, and a uh, structural engineer keeps signed off on some stuff. So we'll be monitoring and working with Ryan and, and, and Public Works throughout that. So it'll be an ongoing process. But, um, we did make recommendations this afternoon on that. And then another update, um, I won't mention the name, but we had several land preservation easements for analysis we were looking at. Uh, I presented one last month to an exec session. Uh, the larger uh, property, uh, Matt and I spoke, we're still waiting for more clarification on what, on what areas of the uh, property they want to preserve. So uh, I spoke to Matt last week and he needs to, or he's going to be reaching out to the property owner to kind of hone down on what part of the property uh, to preserve so I can do my zoning analysis. Yeah, and actually I had that meeting late last week okay. and it's going to take some high-tech wizardry from and me to update the map. So I'm hoping to get that early uh, this week. I kind of go, that, that's, it's just it's a large property and it's not easy to say preserve over here and here and here. So for me to do the zoning analysis, figure out how many lots, look at, make recommendations to this board, uh, we need more defined areas. So uh, that's one hold until we get that information. Um, two more updates. One, I'd just like to put a bug in everybody's ear um, for your second meeting in June. I think it's a time where uh, we should do a kind of cleanup uh, zoning, sour and stormwater amendments. Matt 
and the solicitor's office, I've spoken about this, we've spoken about it, but there's a couple of things that need to be cleaned up. I'm not talking a full blown one of those rewrites, just where something doesn't match in Saldo. We have some landscaping issues we want to uh, get cleaned up right away. Or every time we approve a plan, I'm working off of old landscaping. There's some stormwater updates that DEP has signed off on, and we're kind of behind on that. And then there's a few minor zoning uh, cleanups. So um, maybe the second meeting in June, we get authorization for those, and I'll work through that and Sean and Jeff on that. That's more of a reminder from that. But <laughs> uh, and the last update is a big one. I had an engineers meeting last Monday with uh, just the engineer developer uh, for Toll Brothers for that CT map. They call it the CTP management. I'm calling the overlook at Wawa until they give the project a name. That's the townhouse development at County Line and um, and Butler Avenue. Um, as suspected, once they got our reviews, looked at how many uh, how much relief they need or they need to consolidate. Um, I don't have hard numbers yet, but we're probably looking at losing two buildings uh, for the townhouses to get everything to work. They're fine with that. Um, the Butler Overlay District requirements are actually the most restrictive compared to the mixed use requirements uh, as far as buffer yards and setbacks. So um, they're, they actually wanna make everything more connect, uh, connectability with pedestrians vehicular. Um, I like working with the, the rep from, uh, from Toll. He's different than what I've worked with in the past. I think he comes from a construction background and gets it. He's going to reach out to Wawa to work on additional easements for sidewalk interconnects and crosswalks. So a very productive engineering big picture to see what the layout will look like. They're not in any rush to come back. They want to clean it up. They've also amended the architectural renderings based on your input and planning commission. I got a glance at those. I said, I'm still not sure that's what you, you asked for. So they're cleaning those up and um, they'll come in in June or probably July uh, and present maybe an updated plan, updated renderings, still at sketch plan level, no time clock. They just want to keep working at this, get input from the residents, get input from you. Um, but I did see some progress. So this last last week, I it was a big, a big jump from where they were at to, they say losing twelve units or so. And then be, he said they'll be in the forties. So they're in the 50, I think it was fifty seven townhomes. So they said there'll be a four in front of it, um, unless they <clears throat> pull some miracles. But they're looking at losing two buildings to make everything work, create more open space, parking lots, satellite like parking areas for visitors. I went through that with them as well. So we had a productive planning engineering meeting last week. Um, I would like to have that back in front of the board. If you want to invite planning commission, that's fine. But you know, they do want some clear direction on the next time, then they'll start the engineering drawings and proceed at the next level. Six. Are you what? thinking June sixth? Are you thinking? No, they that's where we had. I don't think they're even going to be ready for that. Okay. They said probably July. Okay. So. It's, I believe Cynthia has a comment. Yeah, I just I was asking that same question: two buildings or two townhomes? So you're saying it's oh, a significant buildings. reduction, two yeah. full blocks of townhomes. Okay, thank you. Correct. I, if we could, Mike, I just put them on the whole slot for them on the works because it's a work session meeting. That way we can always remove them in, case. in July. I think you um well your June's in a couple of weeks, yeah. So I guess July. Okay. I don't know if you have one or two. I'll meetings. put them on June and then we can have that conversation. Yes. Put them on July. I don't like to put anything at the last second surprise we're going to a project that yep. size. So but I thought it was very positive uh, that's all we spoke about, no other issues, just looking at how the, the, the layout would, would work with those restrictions from our reviews. So there, there'll be no zoning variant, there'll be no, no zoning issues. That's the key, they're not coming, they're not asking for variance. Um, is it, if it is, it's something that comes up later as part of the review process. We're not gonna ask for any variances or waivers or what? Well, waivers, yes, oh, okay. they're gonna be waivers. Yes. Okay. But no zoning relief as of right now. Great. That's all I have. All right. Are there any questions for Craig? No. All right. Thank you, Craig. Uh, last item on our information items is the Board of Supervisors comments. Mary Beth? I have none. Cynthia? I have none. I don't have any. I'm letting the ladies go first. So. <laughs> Bill? I, I, I'm amazed that you didn't mention something, Mary Beth. Uh, I would like to commend all the individuals that were involved with the uh, bingo event. May not have been as great of an event as prior years, but I think it went off. I think it's something that the, uh, the public looks forward to in a degree. So thank you. 
because I know I know a certain group of ladies that always look forward to the bag bingo. Yeah, <laughs> I saw some familiar faces there myself. <laughs> Next next time, we hope to see you and Bill there also. <laughs> Just what I need to do is bring in some additional handbags into my house. <laughs> There's men's gifts, too. Come on. Yeah. Michael does a I good think job. My, I think, I think sorry, we might Michael, have won thank a you very much for golf, work. actually. <laughs> huh? I think we might, I think, I think my mom, uh, that's who I'm talking about, I think she might have won a golf foursome or something, didn't she? The table won a couple. Oh, yeah, I thanks. only heard about the golf. I didn't hear about anything else. So, <laughs> that was the choice that was made. That was the choice that was made. Okay. There was a choice between two bags and a foursome. And she's a Jared, golfer, Jared, so she's Jared definitely took the golf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, all right. So then, my only comment for this evening is: I'm going to make the following announcement. The next <laughs> meeting of the Board of Supervisors of New Britain Township will take place on Monday. Michael. Nope. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just I realized I wanted to say um, I appreciate that how hard Michael and Matt worked to get the iPads up and running so that we could do this kind of um, Zoom attendance so that as any board member will be able to attend in any way, shape or form. So thank you guys. I know it took a little bit of a while to get everything going like um, Outlook and other things, but this has been great wonderful piece of technology that's going to make our lives all so much better and saving on the paper. So thank you. Okay. It was all Mike. So hands yeah. off the mic and um, on that, I'll take you back. I'm looking forward to putting the final touches on the new township website. Um, we've got a uh, final meeting scheduled for this week with the board. We're really excited about pushing that button to make it live and um, details <coughs> of course, on um, the special event we've got cooking for the, the, the big reveal of the new website. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, put and do a, uh, a web-based Easter egg hunt. We're, we're thinking like a, a virtual ribbon cutting of sorts. Because uh, you should do, do Easter eggs on the website and you do that. If anybody finds it, gift, yeah. gift certificate. That way people have to use the site. <laughs> I'm going to put them all on the board of supervisors <laughs> email links. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other comments or questions? <laughs> Sorry. All good. Thank you for the thank you, Cynthia. I love having the iPad. It's fantastic. No more paper. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try this again. The next meeting of the Board of Supervisors of New Britain Township will take place on Monday, June 6, 2022 at 7 p.m. here at the Township Building. The agenda and meeting materials will be posted on the Township website prior to the meeting date at newbrittontownship.org. As well, a recording of this evening's meeting will be on the Township YouTube page within the next 24 to 36 hours. After those announcements, I will now take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Is there any comments or questions about adjournment? <laughs> all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, Cynthia. Enjoy, Enjoy, Enjoy it. Have a good day. Have a good, good morning. Day. Yes. It's 9 a.m. there. It is. Time to start a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, guys. Survive the thunderstorms. Yes.